In this video, I'll show you an easy keyword research method using Publisher Rocket's new update. What's going on guys, Sean here. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, I make videos on self-publishing, building passive income streams and retiring early and the many lessons and failures I learned along the way. So if you're interested in those kind of stuff, make sure to subscribe, leave a like and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos that I make. So as you can see, the setup is again different. I've officially moved in to my new uh, Bali villa. So I have a view of there's a little pool that I have and a view of the rice field in front of me. I was hoping I could make this a background for my YouTube videos. Uh, however, I, I tried just now and the glare from the back was a little too much. It was making um, my face dark and everything. So I have to face this way so the, the natural sunlight comes in, you know, in front of me. But I can show you the villa real quick. If you want to see more of like the house tour, I kind of did a short one on... Uh, uh, Instagram so you can go and follow me on Instagram and take a look but let me turn around the camera and see if I can show you real quick I'm not sure if I can show you properly here so yeah that's the the little pool overseeing the rice field and uh, it's pretty nice so that's the setup and super excited to start working in this new villa. Uh, might have to figure out the audio issues a little bit, uh, such as if you guys think the audio is not good, let me know um, and I'll change it up. But in this video, I wanted to go over a quick tip on using Publisher Rocket's new update because they recently made an update for one of their features. I think it's huge. It makes keyword research way easier, especially for situations where you have multiple similar keywords and you're not sure which one to use as your main title. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you had this experience where uh, you have like very similar titles. So you have, as an example, you have ketogenic diet, ketogenic diet for beginners, ketogenic diet cookbook, ketogenic diet recipes, ketogenic diet something, and you're not sure which one to use for your main title. And so I get a lot of my students in my course uh, asking about this as well. So Publisher Rocket's new feature uh, solves this problem. It makes it very easy for you to tell. So let me take you to the screen and show you exactly how to do that. All right, so we are on Publisher Rocket right now. And uh, this is the feature that I'm talking about, the keyword search. So it's a great tool for you to get a lot of keyword ideas if you just wanted to get more keyword ideas such as typing in ketogenic diet or anything generic. Uh, you will get all these other combination of keywords that you can potentially go and check. But now within Publisher Rocket, you can go and analyze this, right? Well, you were able to analyze it uh, before as well. But what I'm trying to show you here is as you analyze, and I'm just going to go and analyze pretty much all of this here. Now we have the competitive score and the Amazon search per month. Now, as you can see, the color coding here, the red, yellow, green, these are what's new on Publisher Rocket. So basically, not only does Publisher Rocket give you the monthly search results, it actually tells you how well these keywords convert as a sale. So what I mean by that is uh, if it shows red, then even though you might have 733 people searching for this keyword, not a lot of people convert uh, compared to how many people are searching for this. Okay. And when I say convert, that means people are using the keyword ketogenic diet to find a book and actually buy a book on it. So now when it's yellow, it's a little better, it means conversions are a little higher, right? And obviously green is the best. Green means the convergence are the best. And what you will notice uh, while you're using this tool, uh, you'll notice that long tail keywords like ketogenic diet cookbook for beginners in this case, ketogenic diet for beginners. So basically long tail keywords that is much more niche down and focused on a specific audience has uh, the green coding a lot of times. And that makes sense because obviously if your keyword is targeted, 
right? Because by using a long tail keyword, that's pretty much what you're doing is you're speaking to a specific audience, right? So obviously the convergence goes up. So a good example of this is it's comparing a keyword meditation, okay, versus meditation for women over 50 who's trying to sleep, who has anxiety. Okay, so that's the two difference. Obviously, uh, the meditation for women over 50 who has anxiety who's trying to sleep will convert much better than just a keyword meditation because it's super targeted. So that's what's showing here is the green ones are the ones that are converting the best and these are the ones that you probably want to use for your title or the keyword. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the new update, but I just think it's excellent. And you can kind of apply the same concept for competitive score. The color coding system makes things much easier to analyze different keywords. Um, but I think this tool is excellent. Obviously, Publisher Rocket has different features such as the competitive analyzer, category search, AMS keyword search, and whatnot. Um, but I'm not going to go into that in this video because the new update is about this, basically. And this is how you want to identify different keywords. So now you can see the search results or how many people are searching for this keyword as well as how well this keyword converts. And in this case, as an example, uh, I would go for ketogenic diet cookbook for beginners as a keyword uh, rather than all the other ones that you see here. So it's not just about the search results because if you just go for the search results or how many searches the keyword get, then you would be uh, choosing ketogenic diet cookbook as the main keyword. But you want convergence, right? Rather than, you know, it doesn't really matter how many people search for the keyword every single month if they're not buying the book uh, when they search for it. So that is why conversions are super important. And so this keyword is a better keyword to go into. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Um, but that is it for the video. I think Publisher Rocket really is one of the few must-have tools for publishing. Um, obviously, there's a lot of different features that you can use, as I explained in many different videos in the past. I'm not going to show you here, but if you do want to grab Publisher Rocket, the link is below this video. And uh, if you like this kind of videos where I offer quick tips, let me know by leaving a like, subscribing if you haven't. I do have a complete publishing course if you guys wanna check it out. The link is below this video, as well as all the tools and resources that I recommend also in the video description below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.